this video is going to show you how you download the VB cables uh, as plugins uh, that you're going to use to link up your, your Zoom and also your Telegram. So let's get on to it. Go to your web browser and then you type Google and under your Google search you type VB cables. VB dash cable. And then this is the window that will pop. Uh, the first search there it's vb-audio.com. Click on, on, on that and then this is the page. If it so happened that um, you introduced by a page like this one, it's not a problem. You uh, you go into your audio apps, then click on your audio apps, and then this is where you want to land. Now, depending on the type of machine that you're using or the operating system that you're using, if you're using Windows, obviously you you will download these ones, and if you're using Mac, you will download this one. Click on that. I'm using Mac. You click, and then it will download the plugins. Once the plugins have been downloaded, uh, install them. Double click on the on the file that's been installed, and then it will install the plugins. So once everything has been downloaded and installed, open your Zoom. Under your Zoom, you go to um, if you're using um, the Mac, um, this is the window for Zoom. And then there's your settings on the side there. You click on it and this will pop. Go to your audio and under audio, you see you have your microphone and also have your speaker. On the both, you need to select VB cable. Click on VB cable and also click on VB cable here. So basically what you're saying to Zoom is audio that's coming in and out on this machine will go through VB cable. So if you are connected to a meeting um, and there's, there's participants there talking, you will not hear them because audio only is trapped into these uh, virtual ca uh, cables, which are the VB cables, right? When you've done this, it's done. And then you're going to open now your telegram this is where you, the same process will apply on telegram when you have your telegram open all you need to do now from this stage is create a channel so click on there on the top you have a new group you have a new secret chat and also you have a new channel what are the differences if you create a new group, it will mean that um, everyone that's in the group will be able to send messages in and out. So um, the control is not as limited as the new channel, where the new channel, only the ones that have um, uh, admin rights will, will only be able to send the messages. So let's open the new channel because this one is more controlled so we create a new channel and then we want to name it whatever we want to name it as um, the purpose of your video or your use of the channel let's say uh, we say test vb cables Okay, you can do your own description if you if you so wish. Click next. Now you want to have your channel as private because if it's public, everyone will be able to see it and then they can join. Um, we. I prefer private because I have more control of it. I know who's coming in and who's coming out. So you click on private. This is the permanent link that you can send out to those that you invite. And the manage links, you can create your own link, your, your custom link to send. Now forwarding from this channel, you can allow 
people to forward or the participants to forward what is being sent on the channel. Or you can restrict forwarding, meaning whatever is typed there, they can't forward it to their friends or their families or whoever. So this is a choice that you you want you have to take. Um, I'm going to leave this on, allow forwarding, because if I send um, a link and they want to invite somebody else, then they can forward that to that, that person. So now it's done. Now this is your channel that's been created. Only one subscriber, which is myself, currently. And then this is where uh, you're going to manage everything. You have your subscribers. If you click on subscribers, it will show um, who the subscriber is. You can click on add subscriber and it will list all the people that are, that are under your contacts. Then you can invite them. You can also share this link. You copy it and then you share it on WhatsApp, uh, even here on Telegram. And then when they click on it, then they will be joined into this um, channel. They will be under subscribers if you want to. And then those that have been added, you can add them as administrators. Uh, you can choose who's on the channel that can be added as an administrator. Okay. Now we have our channel. So we actually want to set up the audio. How do we set up the audio? We're going to start our live broadcast. This is where you go, the top three there. Or if you click here in the bottom, it will show you all this information. You click video chat. Now under video chat, you have you as the administrator and you have the name of the channel. So depending on, on how you want to be viewed or how you want your participant to know who's, who's streaming at the moment. But I would prefer the name of the channel and just so that, you know, you don't bring your, um, you don't have people uh, knowing that it's you who's streaming. But it is the channel that they've been invited to. So click on that and then there at the bottom, Oh yes, you can you can even schedule a video chat when it will come and then you'll be notified. The subscribers will be notified when you're live. But if you are opening a channel instantly or you start it now and then when it starts, this is the window that, that will pop. Everyone that has been invited, when they get the message to to um, to join, they'll be listed here. And then you know who, who's going to, uh, to take part. Now what we're interested in is the VB cables. So once you have this started, you can come to more, right there at the bottom there, click on more. This is the window that will open. And then you notice you have your microphone and you have your output. So under your microphone, you, you select VB cable. Your output, you select VB cable. Now this means that when you have started your Zoom, audio that's in Zoom will be channel two. So when, when, when your participants in Zoom speak, their audio will go to Telegram. It will not come to your your speaker, your computer speaker, so you won't hear them. So audio will go there, and then when anyone speaks here from Telegram, then the audio will be routed to um, Zoom. So audio goes in and out, Zoom, between Zoom and Telegram. Um, let's start, uh, right, we have this sorted. Oh, and one other thing is right here at the bottom, you, you have your noise suppression. So if this noise suppression is on, um, I've noticed that when you play music, then the sound, it's almost choppy. But when you talk, it's okay. So um, 
if you un untick it, then you, you have your sound going in, no suppression, nothing. Audio comes in and out as it is. Okay. So you can go back there. Then you're right. Then let's start our Zoom meeting. We start our Zoom meeting. Okay, Zoom has started. Just gonna resize the window. All right, so um, I just muted there. If you go to your audio settings, you notice that it has selected your VB cable, both your microphone and speaker. Remember before we went to Telegram, that's what we did under our Zoom settings, right? And um, uh, we're just making sure that audio has been set properly. Now, to have audio coming from Zoom to Telegram, you need to unmute. Uh, no, no, you don't need to unmute there. But if you want uh, participants from Telegram to hear what is going on, in Zoom, record uh, without audio. To hear what is going on in Zoom, you need to unmute it. Unmute your microphone there. If you unmute your microphone, then you let in sound go go in and out. So if it goes in, then participants in Zoom will hear. If it uh, if it's like this, uh, when they speak, when you unmute them. They, they'll be able to be heard on on Zoom, provided you unmute your your Zoom as well. So both mics from Zoom and Telegram need to be unmuted so that you can have audio flowing in and out the two applications. They will not be able to see who's in Zoom, but they will hear what is happening. Both applies in telegram they will not see what is happening on zoom but they will hear what is going on so this is how you download install and set up your vb cables uh, to link up these two applications